Hey Cruiser, welcome back. It's a beautiful day. We've got a friend on the way and we're going to have a cleaning party on good old Stargazer. Hey Cruiser, welcome back to Cruiser Cruise Craft. I'm Josh Wells and today we are cleaning up good old Stargazer to get her ready for the season. If you're a fan of good clean fun, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Alright, let's get started. Getting your boat ready for a new season is a bigger project than you might think. I took off the cover myself with almost no troubles at all. Stuff's like rubber meets Satan spit. <laughs> Victory! I've been trying to figure out the best way to do this ever since Josh cut the cover off. No matter how clean you get the boat before storing it for the winter, you're going to have your work cut out for you come springtime. Stargazer is 33 feet long and 12 feet wide. And I already know there's going to be mold in every nook and cranny. I can feel it in my bones, so I had to come prepared. It's a tough job to do alone. So we're splitting the workload. I'm sending Josh down to degrease the engine compartment while my friend Chris and I go mold hunting up top. There's strength in numbers, Cruiser. Don't think of it as do it yourself. Think of it as do it together. Oh yeah, we're a bit moldy. Gonna have some uh, cleaning to do here. Shower, I'll have to do a new shower curtain too. Even looking here, but mm -hmm. well, at least it's cleanable. For our cleaning party, we're going to need soap, water, an all purpose surface cleaner like Clorox or 409, Windex, scrub brushes, a vacuum, lots of paper towels, kitchen gloves, not surgical gloves, and friends. Every crew deals with mold or mildew sooner or later. Even if your boat is like ours and spends the entire off season under a tarp, the moisture in the air still gets trapped under the cover. Mold looks gross, it smells, it's a health hazard, and it's just not a good look in general. Hey, I'm in the uh, down and dirty here. So when you find mold on your boat, it's important to go at it right away with some Clorox and paper towels or a rag and just scrub. Vacuum up any leftover moisture or anything else left behind. Take it one surface at a time and show that mold who's boss. While they're taking care of things up top, I'm on an adventure of my own. I'm climbing into the engine compartment and cleaning and degreasing Stargazer's beating heart. I'm using Gunk Heavy Duty Degreaser for this job. There are a few different kinds, but I'm using the heavy duty one just to make sure I get the job done. For all I know, I could be dealing with 40 years worth of engine grease here. Let me tell you, when you're using the heavy duty, it's amazing stuff. It eats right through everything you want it to and leaves the rest alone. I was pretty nervous about it eating through the fiberglass or the wiring. Didn't do that at all. A few warnings first. We really want to get this stuff all over so it soaks into every surface before we start scrubbing. I'm spraying everything, but you don't want to get any of this on yourself. Definitely wear gloves, face mask. I didn't, but I really should have thought about it. And wear shoes with good traction. Because it gets slippery. <laughs> Lastly, please remember, I'm not a professional. The entire engine compartment got sprayed with gunk, but this is my boat and the process is just as important to me as the result. When you're doing this, if you think that you have a short, do not spray the wires. But spraying the fiberglass, the hull, the bilge, it's totally fine. Just spray the brand name gunk all over. Well, all over the lowercase g gunk. And let it set for about 15 or 20 minutes. And while that's setting up, let's check in above deck. 
am so glad Chris was able to come and help out today. She's been such a great help. Having someone to talk to definitely makes the time pass faster. Plus this way we can each take a different room. I'm gonna scrub the fridge and freezer down while Nikki's working on the mold in the shower. You're probably tossing a ton of stuff in that fridge all season long. If you fish, you've had bait in here. Your catch of the day's been in here. The list goes on. You don't want mold growing in or around it. You should really give it a scrubbing a few times a year. And it's about responsibility. Anyone going out on your boat is part of your crew, even if it's just for a day. You need to be able to trust your crew and you need to trust that they'll respect the ship too. That's a good point. If they're too good to clean, they're too good to cruise. But you guys have a full-size fridge on board, and you don't usually see that on a boat. I'm more than happy to help. A good bleach and scrub is the least I can do. Speaking of scrubbing, now that the gunk's all soaked in, it's time to scrub a dub dub till this engine's as clean as a tub. Well, as close as I can get it anyways. It's a lot of repetition here. After letting it set, I got back in and scrubbed, well, a bunch. And then I let it set again and I scrubbed again, well, a bunch. And then I vacuumed out, well, quite a bit of stuff, the big pieces to clean it out and whatever broke loose. But you can see just by scrubbing the heavy duty gunk that I'm cutting through years of misunderstanding. Hose it down with water and start all over again. I did this two or three times. Spray, set, scrub, vacuum, rinse, repeat. But you can see here, even after one round, the dramatic difference. The tan or yellowish color of the old fiberglass starting to peek out. It's super important to keep a clean workspace as you're doing this. I'm not a neat freak, but you want to be able to see the layers of neglect going away as you do your work. Not only so you can be sure that you're doing it right, though it really helps. Trust me, when you're exhausted halfway through a tough project, seeing the efforts of your hard work paying off right in front of you is an amazing motivator to keep you going. The windows don't even look that dirty. Now we're wiping the windows down with Windex until they sparkle and shine. We're doing this today to get rid of all the dirt and salt from the winter, but remember you're going to want to do it regularly just to get the salt off. Salt residue can erode the sealant on your windows if you just let it sit. Holy crap, look at that. The windows don't even look that dirty. But my paper towel is black. Ew, that's gross. You should probably spray down your windows every time you go out to sea and after you come back. But a good spring cleaning session is super important for the inside of a boat. You wanna wash down the windows, the walls. Don't be shy, there's salt everywhere. You're awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today, Cruiser. We love you. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe down below to keep up with our latest DIY projects. Until next time, I'm Josh Wells, and as Abraham Lincoln once said, give me six hours to clean my boat, and I will spend one-fourth degreasing the engine. Or something like that. See you soon, Cruiser!